Yeah, this is definitely not sardine conditions. It is lightning and thunder outside here at the moment, and the Transkai, the southern Transkai is flooded really badly. Sorry for you guys, man. I hope you survive, okay? Just get the water in your, in your water tanks. Okay, in the meantime, though, Jason the Bear, Waterman, has got Quentin down there in Coffee Bay with a report for us. Good morning, Jason. I'm not... Um, yes, I don't know how many mills we had, but, yeah, it's still raining. Um, but you can see in front of in front of my place, yeah, I'm lying in bed here yeah, watching the river come down. You can see how it's opened up and it's flooding. But if you look at that sand bank and you look at on the right, you can see that little island in the middle of the river here. Yeah. No, it's it's and it's still coming down. Um, so far, the Umzumvubu River uh, that's still nice and green and still got the 15, 20 kg garrick in it. So that's all good on that side. And then somehow he was in Port St. John's and he recorded this report. Thanks, Quentin, for being in two places at one time. Jason tried to explain to me how you do it, but I don't know. There you go. It's not flooding in the Hippopotamus River, which is actually the Umzumvubu River, for those that don't understand. It's Port St. John's. And the Garrick are still thick down there. They, yeah, they're coming out there 15, 18 kgs. No jigging as such. But yeah, it's not flooding in Port St. John's, but overcast, but Coffee Bay flooding. Ah, uh, sardines. No report from Port St. John's yet from Ferry Point. All right, then back up to Jason for his take on the sardine conditions. Hi, peeps. Welcome to a quick bear report. KZN in Coastline and further south. Flooding in the Kaakla last night. River's flooding there at uh, Coffee Bay. And when that fresh water comes in, it pushes the sardines further out to sea. So there's no sardine report there this morning. Uh, hopefully we don't get too much rain up here in KZN tomorrow. Some rain predicted and some really big swell. As it is, not so good for diving. Definitely a boat day diving. The last couple of days we had ballistic conditions here in KZN, eh? As always, things come right, there comes the rain and the swell. But anyways, on the brighter side, big swell cleans out the reefs for us, eh? And away from the bear, as always, dark safe and straight speed. And then finally we're going down to Kevin Incoja, the sardine aficionado for the Sardine News Channel. And uh, he's going to give us his take on the current conditions. And for the rest of us, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, for more sardines. Sunday, eh? Lightning. Woohoo! Uh, ciao. <laughs> Morning, chaps. <clears throat> this is Kevin at Kochamouth, um, just north of Mazeppa Bay, Southern Transkai. Well, a bit of turn of events here with this uh, front that came in. And um, really, the sea is upside down on its head. Um, there was a south swell running, a lovely south swell out deep. But unfortunately, today we've got, um, I'd say, 17 to 18 meters per second winds. Um, and it's a straight southeaster coming straight in off the ocean, um, which has precipitated that cutoff low while we're getting so much rain, which isn't very seasonal right now. And um, what it's done effectively, it's, um, it's overridden the south swell because of this scale force. I mean, it's proper, proper. So there's no south swell evident in shore right now. Actually, it's more of a, an, an easterly swell moving through, which is definitely going to have an effect on the movements of the sardines up the coast. Um, the localized rain here hasn't really showed yet in our river mouth, so the water hasn't um, turned chocolate yet in case there was a lot of rain inland and it finally get, comes through the catchment area and reaches the coast, um, we might get some dirty water as well coming through because we have had over 80 millimeters of rain already. So let's see what the next couple of days holds. Um, yeah, I would uh, say that this is going to hold up the sardines wherever they are or quite possibly they just move out into deeper water. Um, they are free from predator activity right now obviously because of the weather but I don't think they're going to move very far up the coast. We're going to have to wait for a bit of a clearing. Anyway, that's me over and out. And I'll keep you updated as things improve. Cheers.